Hello again, this is Rob Veach from V Paranormal. I wanted to give an update on some of the latest changes that I've implemented to the Paraselfie. We've had it on uh, two investigations and I made some improvements to it. One of the changes was to uh, not use the E-probe as a proximity sensor, but to uh, modify the REM pod to use as a proximity sensor, which is a lot more reliable. In addition to that, you'll see behind me there's uh, the pair of selfie to my right and to my left is a monitor and it's actually getting a the image from the pair of selfie. It's transmitted as a signal in the air so that we can have a monitoring station in another location, another room away from the pair of selfie and ask a series of questions and try and get results and see what's happening. Now, because I have that ability now, you know, uh, if you're not in the same room as the Paraselfie, you can't uh, really see everything that's going on. So what I had to do is the uh, LEDs that give you the status of what the changes are in the strobe rate, there's 10 status LEDs, I want to be able to see those. So on the Paraselfie now, there's a little reflective mirror that sends that image back to the transmitted signal so that you can see what the status is. So now you can be in a separate room and you can see what changes are happening to the strobe rate as the entity tries to interact with those four devices. The devices themselves have been widened out so that uh, they're all in view now. All the sensors can be seen. And so when you get a change in any of those four detectors now, you can see it on the screen. It's no longer guessing all the uh, uh, LED status indicators are now shown. So you can be in a separate room and know exactly what's going on with the Paraselfie as if you're in the room with it. This way it gives uh, Shire entities um, an ability to communicate while you're away from the device itself. Another change that was made is the camera that does the video recording of whatever's in front of the Paraselfie uh, was on a tripod. And now I modified it so that there's no tripod needed. The camera's mounted to the Paraselfie so that you can move the Paraselfie to a different location or swing it around and you don't have to realign all the camera for that new location. I added a white LED light strip below the strobing lights to allow you to enhance the background uh, so that you can, during setup, it's easier because you have now a, a LED light to see the setup. And now you can enhance the background to get the right balance of the strobe light versus the ambient light.